Martin with another video and today you can see on the screen there is something special. We do have got Android Studio 3. So I'll walk you through with a couple of things like for example how you can create a simple hello world app in Android 3 using Kotlin and I'll also show you how you can convert your existing Java code into Kotlin and uh, you'll also notice that uh, a couple of good things in here and uh, I'll, I'll walk you through with all these steps. So we will be learning quite a lot of stuff. Uh, let me just remind you what we are here for. Uh, the goal of this video is just to create a simple Hello World application in Kotlin using Android Studio 3. And we'll just place a button on the screen and we'll make a toast with that button. Okay, simply a toast. Uh, the toast is going to say Hello World. That's it. That's it. Don't want to complex the things, but it's super easy, people, and will also make you understand that how now you can use the power of Java as well as Kotlin, okay? Let me get started, and this is the Android Studio 3. I have also got an Android emulator up and running, and by the way, I'll also show you one more cool thing by the end of this video, which is one app that is already there on this emulator. I just, just saw that, and let's just start with there. So how we can proceed? That's a good question. Just click on the start new Android Studio project and notice, notice this guy. If you haven't, let me zoom there. Include Kotlin support. Super awesome. Why not? And let's just call this as uh, something like a uh, cool hello. Cool hello. That, that's good. And it should begin with uppercase. So cool hello. That is good. And we will also check mark this include Kotlin support, which gives us things. And just to just to give you an overview, Kotlin support was previously also there, but in the Android Studio 2.x, uh, we needed to install a plugin uh, named as JetBrains, and that gives an access to the Kotlin. And once we have installed that plugin, we could have used the Kotlin and everything. And a lot of people are already doing that. Uh, just to give you an idea, now the Uber app is completely trying to get uh, involved all the latest feature in the Kotlin in the Android, uh, as well as Pinterest is totally on the Kotlin support and millions of people are using it. So yes, the, the whole idea is now you can use the power of Java as well as Kotlin and can combine them together so that uh, I hope you understand that the whole goal is to serve the user. It doesn't matter what language you are using as soon as it is good and easy and uh, just does the job. Okay, enough of the rant about Java and Kotlin. Let's do something meaningful. So just check mark this and let's click on there. Everything is fine. And I'll just choose an empty activity. And next main activity is, is okay in this case. Okay, there we go and things are okay and straightforward you can notice that the files are in .kt i'll show you how you can convert your existing java project into kotlin as well follow along with me press command shift a if you are on a pc command always means control not always most of the time it means control so control shift a it will open up this pop-up and just say convert 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 files oops what am i writing oh my goodness there we go convert java files to kotlin and just hit enter there it will do automatically everything for you yep it's that easy okay now what we want to do is place a button and uh, come on where is that design okay there we go design and this should be zoomed a little bit 90 yeah that's fine why don't you make everything big I just like big things. Make it everything big. There we go. Let's place the button there. Uh, button should have an ID because I'll be needing that. So I'll call this as hello me. And it can also have on click functionality. Uh, but I don't think so. I'll be needing that right now. I don't want to do any big things in here, but I'll just keep it something like clicked. Maybe I'll need that. Maybe. But I don't think so, I'll need that. Okay, let's just see how we can proceed within, within here. So there we go. Now, we need to do a little bit of configuration here because straightforward things are not going to be working yet. I think in the future edition of the Android Studio 3, it may work, but right now we need to do a couple of uh, things. Let's go into the Gradle scripts. And uh, is this, no, this is not the guy. 
Yep, this is the guy. So go into this guy, gradle.build module app, not the project cool hello. So there we go. Now straightforwardly, this line is already written at line number three. I know this is this is very small. This is very small for you to read. And uh, come on, file system. Okay, where where is the font? Just give me font colors and font. Okay, font. And okay, this is this is too much of the highlighting default. Okay, and I would like to bump this font to maybe twenty. Yeah, twenty four. 24 is good, looks good. This is too big for me. Pardon me, pardon me for that. And uh, this this should be 20. Okay, looks good, looks good. So this line is already written, apply a plugin Kotlin Android, and we need one more of this, uh, which is Kotlin extension. By the way, this is not super important, but it makes our life easier. Kotlin extensions, make sure you keep an eye on that. Okay, this is one thing. Also, we would like to import for the toast uh, this guy, which is Anko. Very famous in the world of uh, Kotlin people. Uh, there are a lot of such libraries that you can import. Uh, it makes life super easy. Uh, it will just give you a toast and a lot of other things. Uh, we'll be, you can Im import the entire Anko project, but for this little thing, it will be an overkill. So we'll be just importing the common guy and it will not work. It will not work, let me show you why. Where is that guy? There we go. I can just add it into the dependencies. Uh, this will not work because right now this Anko version variable is not declared, so we need to find the version. It is 0 .10 .0 so 0 0.10.0.0. So 0.10.0, there we go. And we can save this guy and click on sync now. Things are happy now, okay. And how you can work with the Anko is pretty simple. All you have to do is go into this main guy. Uh, what did we name our button? I forgot that, hello me, hello me. And all you have to do is call this hello me. And you can set on click listener. And uh, what you can do is, can utilize the power there a little bit. Let's get rid of this and press, press a curly braces, there we go. Uh, use a curly braces and can simply say there that hey, I want to use a toast and in the toast I should say hello there people Save that and I would like to run this guy. Yeah, run that on Nexus 5. I should have created a better device Nexus 5 is not that good Will serve the job for us right now. Where is that? Where is that device? There we go. So we have got a button and if I click on that, it says, hello there people. Pretty awesome. I can do it again. Hello there people. We have we have set the clicked function there as well. Maybe, maybe we can use that later on uh, in some of the videos. Right now it is pretty cool to just see hello there people. So this is your almost exactly the same thing, uh, but now this is in the Kotlin. Uh, let me also show you that you can convert your code uh, convert uh, Java to Kotlin and uh, on the website of not the first link this is this is not what you want this is you this is you want Kotlin Lang okay and uh, try it online go on to that and click on this convert Java and paste your Java code there and it will convert your Java code into Kotlin there we go as simple as it sounds and one more thing that I wanted to show you, this is not related to this video, but uh, let me show you an app uh, which I was working on and that is completely in React Native. And uh, just, just one, this is the login app. And notice how beautiful that looks up. Uh, this is all what we are doing right now uh, for one of the projects. So this is the thing which we are, uh, these are pretty good, pretty good thing in here, okay? Uh, we can do so and, okay, just wanted to show you that, yeah, this is this is something beautiful that is coming up. I'll keep you posted what we are doing and how we are doing it. But I think you have enjoyed quite a lot in this very short 10 minute video and we have learned about how we can create an, a project in Android Studio 3 using Kotlin and can configure it. This is the base configuration that you need to have. Uh, let me know in the comment section below how you have liked this kind of video. And that's it. Now it's time to go hit outside because I've been just working for quite a long. I need to get fresh air. In the meantime, enjoy this video.